hello everyone this is my palette collection and yes if you're saying hey you only have one face and a lot of palettes that is so true but I like to collect makeup that's like my hobby plus I come over here and review stuff for you so we're not gonna make this a long intro this is a brutal declutter you all I started off with foundations primers powders concealers and I kind of fell off but I did already declutter blushes I through I've decluttered over a hundred lipsticks let me show y'all what I've decluttered already this is all the stuff that I've decluttered already some of this my sisters are gonna love me yeah some of this stuff I am planning on putting on Poshmark my girl Andrea Renee just talked about it I've always had an account but I just haven't decluttered it so I just haven't like put stuff on sale so you'll see some of the stuff on sale if you are interested in any of the items feel free to email me my description box is down below and before I actually put it on Poshmark if you are interested I can send you an invoice and you can let me know hey I'm interested in that palette because you'll see everything that I have and because you watched all the way through this video of course I will give you first access to baby purchase and palette first come first serve we know okay so we're going to start off with drugstore and affordable and then we will go into the high-end items now my take on this is going to be if i can use a palette by itself i'm going to probably keep it and if i cannot i'll probably declutter it some of these I will be put doing looks on and reviews and that's the reason why I'm going to keep it. So once I do that, then I might declutter it. So my other goal is I have four sisters. Actually, I have four sisters and two sisters in love, actually three sisters in love. So I will probably be giving them a palette. So at least I have to declutter seven. How about that? <laughs> Okay, so these are all of my, I would say, drugstore affordable. Let me, I'm going to put my Morphe palettes included in this. So these are my Morphe palettes. So I'm going to go through those last. Okay, so last year I used the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro. I really like this palette. That's how it looks. The only thing I did not like is that the names are not on the product. They are on the sheet. So I'm actually, because I can use this, this by itself, and I guess you can consider this drugstore. You guys, this was only $10. It's the same price as this Milani palette. So... I want to do some makeup one makeup one brand makeup tutorials so I'll probably be keeping I'll be keeping the makeup revolution because I want to look more into this brand and probably do a makeup tutorial next these are my two wet and wild palettes now these are the only ones I am not hot about the other ones I do like the trios but this is an old school this is the wet and wild vanity I actually got this off of um where did I get this off of Amazon? I really like this palette. I'm actually going to do a pan that palette. And this is probably the one I'm going to work on for 2017. I really do like that palette. So I'm going to keep this. And this is wet and wild. You can, I believe, still get this off. I know it's grungy, but I've used it. So I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to keep it. And this is my comfort zone palette. I might use another one. I don't know. Okay, how about this one? I know I'm going to keep this one and do limited edition and pan that palette. Hmm, I'm going to declutter it. I'm going to declutter it. So I'll just keep this right here just so y'all can see. This is a NYX Full Throttle Quad. I love this. To me, this has a lot of the shades of the Modern Renaissance palette. I do want to do a NYX one uh, palette tutorial, one brand tutorial. So I'm going to actually keep this. This is the Maybelline eyeshadow quad, and this is in the shade Nude Romance. These are all mattes, pretty much. I really like this palette. I'm going to keep it for a one brand makeup tutorial for Maybelline. And yeah, this is the Carly Bybel palette. I found out that now this is $14.50, I want to say, at, at Ulta. 
this palette is so amazing i found out that it's not limited uh, it is limited edition it's not permanent to ulta so i'm gonna keep this although it's limited edition this is an amazing palette it's my favorite affordable palette so i'm gonna keep that wait a minute i have these two these two are two L'Oreal palettes. Now I can do looks from both of these. I'm gonna do a one brand makeup tutorial with L'Oreal. So I'm probably going to, I might end up getting a quad. Um, let's see, which one would I want to use? Let me keep the warm tone. I've done a tutorial using this on Instagram. So I'm gonna declutter this. I'm not doing so well, y'all. <laughs> I got like several palettes over here I said I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna keep this one once I do that one brand tutorial I'm gonna declutter this one Milani I'm actually gonna keep this because I'm gonna do a one brand tutorial with Milani and then will I keep this I might keep this because this has really great shadows I actually have another one of this but my one of my sisters is really into cruelty free and vegan so I'm actually gonna pass this on to her so so far we have three palettes and thus from the drugstore Jaclyn Hill palette that ain't going nowhere this is like a keepsake and the shadows are amazing the reason why I did not I would thought about getting the Kathleen lights palette but I saw this and then where's my Laura Lee palette if y'all can tell I'm just telling you this really quick both of these have some of the same shades if y'all can see that and to me this was the Kathleen Lights palette just cut in half to me. So that's why I just decided to not, I decided to pass on just because, pass on that palette just because the Laura Lee palette is amazing. It was one of my favorite of last year um, in terms of collabs, but this is another collab and this is the Jaclyn Hill. I love Jaclyn Hill. I will be keeping this one so that one's not going anywhere. 35 oh this is one of my favorite palettes of 2016 so i'm like i'm keeping that this b bella palette i wanted to review so I, this is this might end up being a stash video <laughs> lord please let me get through some of these but yeah this one um kind of reminds me of the y'all know what i'm getting ready to say the morphe kathleen lines palette so if you can tell this shade this green it reminds me of yeah some of the warm tones and this is a good cool tone i'm gonna review this one and see how i like this comp and i'm gonna compare it to the morphe palace because obviously there is something this is, says b35g these are like 35 oh they're the same kind of packaging let's see we will see if there's a difference. Jouer is an amazing palette, but I actually, I'm going to get rid of this one because, and it's an amazing palette for travel, but I want to get the other one that she came out, which was her permanent line. This one, I want to say the ready to wear, they kind of, I'm not sure if they discontinued it, but I'm going to pass it on to one of my sisters. So the Meat Matrimony, I just got this one not too long ago. I want to do a swatch and review on this. I actually had this color from a Ipsy Glam Bag and absolutely loved it. So I'm going to try this and see how I like it. The This is the Manny MUA palette. I actually really do like this one for travel. I can use this one by itself and I really enjoy Makeup Geek. Even if I depot these and put them in my z palettes my life palette i'm going to keep this one i'll probably end up decluttering it i really wish that you could like take these out because i really don't care about the palette although it has a great mirror and it's actually a good compact this might be end up being my travel palette though i really do like it okay so the peanut butter and jelly and the sugar pop these are some of my favorite summer spring and summer i'm gonna keep those I knew like pops of color I like this one just because it has some shades that I usually wouldn't wear and the peanut butter and jelly uh, I really do like worn girls dream so these I am keeping okay these do two studio on the go hmm I really do like both of these but I think let's see these were amazing. I think I'm going to keep one and declutter the other. 
I love a palette with a black. But I have a lot of shades like this. I'm trying to see. I don't have shades. Not that many as this. So I'm actually going to keep this one. The cool tone one. I'm going to pass the warm tone along. My, one of my sisters would probably really enjoy this. Just because it has an awesome black in it. And it's one of my few palettes that have a black. Let me see. Let me go through the makeup forever. These I'm actually keeping because I love these for my freelance. So I actually have three categories. And see that one has a black. So I'm actually going to keep these three. And I'm going to, I love this palette. It was one of my favorite of 2016. But I'm going to pass it on to one of my sister's. They're going to enjoy that. This is the Kat Von D uh, Interstellar palette. I've used this like um, maybe mm, three, three to four times. I really do like it, but I do have shadows that are like it. So I'm going to pass it on. The Pretty Rebel palette. I love this. Now, this is a limited edition from Too Faced. I really like the palette. I like the pops of color they're amazing but I don't grab for this one often I got this from Nordstrom rack so I'm gonna actually pass this along and uh, I'm actually gonna probably sell these on Poshmark this is the Too Faced the return of sexy I like this palette it has like um, Too Faced has always great packaging Right here are different looks that you can pull from. You can pull these out in different looks. That was very smart. I actually like that. I hope they bring that back. And then this is a warm tone, cool tone, and then you can do a smoky eye. I'm actually going to pass this along. I maybe use this twice, and I'm not pulling from this often, so I'm going to declutter that one. These are my life palettes, Makeup Geek and... What other kind of shadows? Are Mac shadows? Um, my makeup forever. I'm actually gonna keep this. It has some motive in here. What else? Uh, some carity shadows. So I'm actually gonna keep these. Those are my life palettes. I am going to declutter these shadows, but I'm gonna keep the Z palette. I love the Ofra uh, palette. I felt like that this is a pretty nice size, but these I actually separated because I don't want these. So I'm gonna actually declutter these. So, my Anastasia, this is the Anastasia Self-Made Palette. I really do like this palette, but I think I'm going to actually pass it along to one of my sisters or even sell it. Um, just because I have used this palette, but I don't enjoy it as much as the other palettes. And I know I'm going to have to let go of something. So, nude, tood. Let me put this in the maybe because I have not. Do I want to do a full tutorial on the ball? I think I'm going to sell this one. Let me pass that one along. Okay. Chocolate bar, sweet peach, and the semi sweet. I'm actually going to keep. No question about those. Modern Renaissance and the Master by Mario. These are staying. Just so you can see. I'm actually going to have a giveaway. I actually have another one for you guys. But um, this is an amazing palette. This is my most used palette. I have not put it down. And it has my glam go-to. So, ain't no way. Modern Renaissance, just as good. A permanent palette that I can always pull and do looks from. And look for that. The Lorac Pro. I really love this palette. Um, it was one of my first high-end palettes that and I think the chocolate bar and the naked so I'm actually gonna keep that I really do like both of these the Tamana palette I love this palette I don't care I haven't used it I'm gonna be honest but I can see myself using this especially in the spring just because of these these um, these looks it's limited edition it's hard enough to get a hold of this one and I think I pulled the last one from Planet Beauty and then I really did like the, this is the artist, the world couture palette. I really did like that. That was from Anastasia. And it has some really nice colors, azure, like some eccentric shades. So pops of color that are wearable to me. And I could use, look, y'all see that black? That's what I'm talking about. I use the Naked 2 in a look. Um, 
I don't have any Urban Decay palettes besides the Gwen Stefani. I really like the Naked 2. The Naked 3, do I have any rose gold? I'm actually going to hold on to both of these just because I don't think I have any rose gold. Gwen Stefani, love her. All right. I'm going to keep this palette. I do reach for this one um, often. This is my MAC. I have not used that, this, but this is the one that they custom made for warm tones, I want to say. I'm going to keep this one. I can definitely do different looks, and I want to do looks on the channel just because I think I got this for like, it was a $65 palette, which is a really good deal. I think I paid less than that because I think I got 10 or $20 off. So excited about that. And those are the only MAC shadows I actually have. Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. Amazing palette. I love this. Gonna keep it. The Lorac Zipped Gold. I love this palette. It ain't going nowhere. Um, I really do like this palette from Lorac. Just because of the golds. I love golds and rose golds shades. So keeping that. Mega Pro 2. I gave away my... Um, I actually sold my Mega Pro 1 palette. I really do like this palette though. So I'm gonna keep this. And I have not done a look on this, but y'all saw me haul this. And this is the Juvia's Place. I want to say this is the Masquerade palette. This is the large one. So, yeah. So, let's see how many we, we are selling or getting rid of. Let's see. Or passing along. One, two, three, four, five. We'll consider this a palette just because there's shades. Six seven eight nine ten eleven palettes <laughs> but i'll probably do another declutter i try to be as honest as possible so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see what i'm going to declutter next just because i've gone through pretty much everything i might do bronzers and highlighters again um some of these i did not expect to actually declutter but i had shadows in another palette so yeah these will be on the market so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time bye lovey